Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Nest. Today we are going to learn about how to create a CRUD REST API in Nest with the help of the Postgres. So let's start. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here we have the full fledged code which I have written down over here. Now we are going to use that one. So first we are going to install the Nest JS CLI. If you are not installing that one, then you have to install the globally Nest JS CLI. Then we have to create a new project with the help of the Nest new Nest app with Postgres. So let's go and create a project over here. So this command will create a basic Nest app. So you have to create whether you want to choose NPM yarn or PNPM. So I will go with the NPM. So it will give you the basic Nest app. So it takes hardly one to two minutes, nothing more. These are the default files that is coming with the Nest app. That is ES linter, Pretier, readme, nest CLI, package, TS config, JSON, app controller, TS module service main, and app.e2 specs.es and just. Meantime, we should open the Postgres that is PG admin. We have to create a new database. Let's see whether you want to create a database or not. Is it done? Yes, it is done. Okay, so we have to go with the CD Nest app with Postgres. Copy and go to that folder. Done. Let's open it via code, VS Code. Okay, so let's create the files. So first, we have to install this package that is type ORM and Postgres. So here we go with the installation. This is done. So let's create the next step. That is we have to this one. That is in the app module.ts file. So this is a main file we have to add. So just copy it right now and I'll explain later on. Then we have a app module.ts source app module.ts where we have all the configurations. Next, we have to go with the next one that is we have to create a new folder in the source that names is entities. So we have to create a new folder whose name is entities and uh, create a new file over here. Entity.js. So here we have created source then we have to create the user entity.js ts sorry so here we have to go with this one entities then you have to create a new file user entity then you have to paste this one okay this is done next we have to create a new folder whose name is controllers so let's create the controllers so here we have to click this one and then go to source and create a new folder controllers and here we have to create a new file named usercontroller.ts so let's copy and add this one okay now we have to add this file over here so here we have all the CRUD operations right so just add it over here and here we are getting any issue so for right now we are we are going to just omit this one okay so i think all the code is set up any issue on that controllers user controller let's see controllers then we have a user controller now it's okay okay let's run the command npm start and let's check 
okay so one thing which we haven't configured that is the database so let's configure that one so here we have the app module.ts okay so postgres your data username i guess postgres postgres then we uh, i will use the task management okay task management okay task management right your db name sorry this will come over here and this is my i think the password is admin let's try to connect now it's connected okay there is no error so now we are going to use the apis okay which is which basically the cloud operations so this is the route that is users so let's go and open the postman okay so first one first route is let's see the first route that is the post so that's we have the users okay then we have to post that one so let's check and add users body name i will put rajni kant and password i will put admin and two three and here we could post rajni kant at the rate gmail.com okay let's try to send it so it's created on the id number seven so let's go and check this one so here we have all the tables then we have the user tables so view and edit all rows seventh id should be rajnikanth this and this so it's there right so next one we have so let's check the code level first okay step by step okay so this is basically the configuration file where we have configured the postgres so this is the part so here we have the type orm module okay nestjs common module user controller and user entity that is import from our controllers and entities right so here you this is the way that you can connect to the postgres okay type orm for mud for feature user controller that we are using user controller and export that app module so this is basically the configuration file you can say where we have configured right this one and the main file that is called app module.ts where we have configured the controllers also okay so this is the first step okay now we have we have created the controllers and entities entities for the database part so we have the id name email and the password so when it runs it automatically creates id name and the email password with the name user into your database okay so it will it will generate that one table into your database with the help of postgres done next we have a user controller where we have written all the logic for add update delete or add add update delete or create right so basically this is basically the nestjs common controller get post put delete body and params okay entity user entity we have taken it imported from the entities part okay so first part here we have the export the class user so controller name is users okay inject the repository that is user private read only user repository okay so this is basically the constructor so these are the methods the get one then get by id user id so in the next one that is create user that is a post request okay so this is the logics create user okay the here we are expecting the user params and user repository we are going to save that one okay then we have update user then delete user so first we have done the create user which we have already created so async create user at the red body user and the promise user we have written and here just this is normal function to save the user whatever the data comes from the user okay just save it and save into the database next we have to get it now we have to get it by the user id so the command what it says the api request that is user slash id so i want to get the record of the seven to so just whether it's to be a post or get that is the get request okay so if i go to the postman and make the get request over here and here i want to record of the seven and just send it what it says
uh, you must provide a select a selection condition in order to find a single row. You must provide a selection conditions in order to find the single row. Let me check that is the users. If I just write the users under get API, so what had happens? We give the list of the all the users that we have created. So that is that is okay. And uh, where the logic we have written down over here. So here we have the find all the users. Okay, so it will return all the repository data what we have. Okay, then we have the find user by ID. Okay, then we will check this one find one. So let's check the what ID is coming up. Console dot log. What the ID is? ID. Let's restart this one. And uh, let's see the user slash ID users slash ID. Seven error. You must provide the condition in order to find the single row. I think we are facing this issue. Let me check this one. Okay. So now you can see that we are able successfully able to get the user ID whether it's to be get from the eight also. So eight is not there, six is there. So we'll get all the records from here right now, right? So here you can see that the next one that we are using that is by ID. So find user by ID, we have to pass the param, okay? And get the, the help of the find one by ID, okay? Next, this is uh, first we get the all the users then find by ID we have done then we have already created the user also the next one that is missing I guess that is update so we have to update the user this is the put request right this is put so make the put request over here so get to be make the put request and I want to update the row 7 and uh, here I can pass it uh, name to be 1234 and the uh, email should be 12345 right just send it and it's getting some error so what exactly is it it is provide a selection to the single row again the same error is coming where it is so let's see so where uh, update so maybe find one by id we should use okay, let's see let's rerun this one let's try to update this one send now it's updated let's check the database also on the same note now you can see that so this is basically the full fledged crud rest api with the help of the postgres any doubt any query in that just let me know in the comment section this is basically simple one okay this is basically the simple simplest part that we have shown us entities entities i have already showed you okay so these are the entities then we have done the app modules not these three files controllers user entities and this one or making you can use the app dot service also because and because i this is totally a simple one okay so i have used it here you can also use a service over here to create a logic over there right okay so this is the crud operations in with the help of the postgres any doubt any query in that let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day